for these two GameCube titles, and I could not be happier. First one's a player's choice. They're both in great condition, and they're both complete. This one is a player's choice, though, and that is for Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. I used to love playing this. My uh, best friend Adam and I played it all the time, and like I mentioned, it is complete. I'm very happy to add that. And then one that a lot of people seem to love. I haven't found out why yet, but I believe this will be the next GameCube title I get into after I beat Mario Sunshine, and that is Skies of Arcadia Legends. And like I mentioned, it is complete. Very happy to pick both of those up. Ben is amazing. Thank you, Ben, for those. Now, to get to the very end and to the last person who hooked me up, I, I am overwhelmed by the generosity of this friend. I just, there's really nothing else I can say other than thank you. Uh, he goes by BP. I will not tell you what that stands for just yet. I know I'm gonna I'm gonna be mentioning him a lot in the future. I'm sure he uh, he's hooked me up really really well with this one, and I could not be any more grateful for what he's done. Um, however, I just realized one of these is not in this pile. I don't know where it is. Um, hold on a moment. I believe. One of the games. Yep, it's right here. I got it. Okay. So, just to give you a small look, he uh, he helped me beef up the one collection that I am most excited to collect for, and that is the Super Nintendo. I couldn't be happier than what I've got than with what I've got here. I mean, I don't there's some pretty great titles. I they're not even I don't I just I can't really say much more. I'm extremely happy and I didn't sort through these. Okay. That's good enough. So to to try to do this in a smart way I'm first going to go through a little background so I mentioned to my friend BP that I'm getting into collecting video games and the first thing he says is I have Super Nintendo games um that happens to be my favorite system of all time so I asked him could I take a look at what you got and we'll see if we can make a deal I said absolutely I'll and he I believe actually brought them over to me all the games that he had and he had it in a nice a nice size box um, and I looked through and I was really happy with some of the titles I saw uh, quite a few commons but then there were some not so commons and then there were some that I've been dying to add to my collection so I picked out six titles mind you I picked out six titles and I was like how much do you want for these six and he goes well you picked out some of the uh, the rarer, rarer, I guess, titles, the more expensive ones anyway. And and he kept going back and forth with me saying, well, how much do you want them for? Or how much would you pay for them? And I, we decided to do a meet in the middle thing again. We went and looked up prices and we came up with a proper price to, to do with all of these. So, and then later on, I had even found out that he had one more that I did want and he threw that in as well and together we came with a price of 110 bucks and I was actually completely fine with that seven games for 110 bucks um, with the titles that I got I was just I was more than happy to pay that um, but on top of it part of the reason why this video has taken so long to surface is because I didn't feel right about filming and putting this video up until I had paid him in full because I actually didn't I paid him in two uh, two payments I guess I paid him sixty dollars and then I paid him fifty just fairly recently so this video has been on hold mainly for that reason because I just didn't feel right making the video yet um, but the wait 
is over and I'm going to show you everything that I got from him. But by the time I paid him the rest of the money, he threw in the rest of the games in the box, which is why I, I just, I'm speechless. Can't, can't you hear it? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? I just, I can't believe that he threw all these in extra. Um, I couldn't be more grateful. Thank you so much, BP. Um, just as a tribute to you, um, I asked him if he wanted to be filmed. I wanted to film paying him the rest of the money. However, he wasn't 100% comfortable with being on camera. He wants to stay off the grid. I completely understand. Um, so, but instead, he did say that he wouldn't mind if I posted a picture of him up. Which sounds kind of weird, but at the same time, I mean... So, here's the infamous BP who gave me this awesome deal. Yeah, he's a, he's a cuddly little beast, isn't he? Um, anyway, now let's get on to the games. Um, this small stack that I have in my hand first is basically all the stuff he gave me for free. Um, and two of these I can't believe he even threw in there. But... For free, with the $110 deal that I picked up these games for, we got NBA All-Star Challenge, an LGN title. Then we got Space Football, which I had heard like not much about at all. Um, but this one I will definitely at least be checking out because it just sounds interesting. Um, then we got Super RBI Baseball. Then Vegas Stakes, common uh, casino type game. And then another one here, Top Gear, very common. I heard it was fun though. I At least I heard from him that he had a lot of fun playing Top Gear. I would definitely give that a try specifically because he said so. Now these two I was very, ha I couldn't be happier that he threw these in. Um, but the first one is Doom. And then the other one, this is actually, my, this is, uh, he threw this in for free. And the reason why I didn't pick it up to begin with, and people, you people will be shocked. The reason why I didn't pick it up to begin with, I already had it. And I wasn't going to just throw five bucks at him and hoping he would let me have this title. And um, like I said, I already had it. And the other copy that I had... I ended up doing a trade with someone else a while back. So, but he threw this in for free, and honestly, even that just blows my mind away. And that is, of course, Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. This is my permanent copy. I believe it came straight from him. I actually traded off my old copy. Uh, those, like I said, these were, these were the free, for free games. And I just... I'm still speechless. Thank you, BP. Right, the first one I'm going to mention of all the games that I picked up from BP um, that um, basically I had mentioned in a past video that there was something I picked up while I was in Albany that I couldn't mention um, due to I needed to get this video out first. Um, the first game I picked up from BP was Star Fox for the Super Nintendo. The reason why I wasn't able to mention it before was because when I was in Albany, after already making the deal with BP, I already knew I had the game, and I happened to come across the box for Star Fox. It is pretty beat up. You can tell, like, all the corners, they look all jacked up, messed up. Plus, there's a part of the box here missing and stuff. However... I paid five bucks, so I am not going to complain about that. And it has, of course, the manual, which the manual is actually in quite good shape, with the exception of the one crease back there. Um, then it even came in with the cardboard insert. So I have this game complete in box, which I thought was just super cool, um, just to slowly add to my box collection next to Mystic Quest. 
Um, oh, good. And then even pulling it apart, a little piece of it fell off. But it's all right. It, I knew what I was getting for five bucks, and honestly, with with time, I know I'll find another. I can make it an upgrade. So, no big deal. But it was just really cool that I got to add another boxed Super Nintendo game in my collection, and it happened to be Star Fox, one of my favorite franchises of all time. So, starting with that, so once again, thank you, VP, for Star Fox, and then thank you to, uh, I forgot the store, the store in Albany that I got this from. It was a really cool store. I definitely plan on going there again um, some other time. I'm gonna go this, go at this from, uh, best, save the best for last, I suppose. And the only reason why I'm gonna do that is because. Believe it or not, within this within this pickup, um, I actually picked up my favorite game of all time. Maybe not the best game of all time, but I did pick up my favorite game of all time. That's a spoiler for anyone who pays attention to some of my videos. But anyway, um, the game that we threw in at the last minute, and I was very happy to pick up, was the Super Game Boy. Did not haven't had this since I had my Super Nintendo. That I don't even know what happened to it. I was very happy to pick that back up. Um, then, just one I hadn't seen in a crazy long time. I remember playing it when I was a kid, and I don't even know why. It wasn't even all that fun. Plus, I would rather play the beat-em-ups anyway. But, this is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers The Fighting Edition. This glare, jeez. Now I tilt the game up a little more. Here. And these are all in wonderful condition, with the exceptions of the one game... It has a little fading on it, but we'll get to that. But then, uh, then we have the Lord of the Rings. There, that worked out well. There you go. Lord of the Rings. And I was told by him that this is actually quite a fun game. It's just very frustrating as far as, like, the saving. Because it's it had the old codes and stuff. But the codes are, like, way too long. You have to write them down really quick and remember them. Okay, and then next we have Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo. I was happy to pick this up. In all honesty, Mario Kart 64 is where my love for Mario Kart came from. I actually did not have this when I was a kid. But I had played it after the uh, span of this, the Super Nintendo was all done and the 64 was the big thing. I did play this around the era of the 64 and I did really enjoy it, but I honestly was just stuck on Mario Kart 64. And it was unfortunate because that was that is a really good title. Now these last three are currently uh, the crown jewels of my uh, of my collection. And once again, I just cannot stop thanking BP for this, but these are probably my most prized possessions in my Super Nintendo collection now. Um, this one actually has a little mark um, in the corner, I just realized, but that's okay. Hardly noticeable, obviously, I didn't notice it earlier. But uh, this first one is Final Fantasy II, and like I said, it's in great condition. There is a little mark. Right up there in the corner where square is, it's now square. There's no E, it's just square. I don't know. Anyway, really happy to pick that up. Then, actually this one has a small neck on it too, but that's okay. Again, hardly noticeable. Um, but to go right on with the Final Fantasy, we have Final Fantasy 3. Just super happy to pick this up. I, uh, all I hear is that Final Fantasy 3 is the Final Fantasy game to play. I never played the Final Fantasies during the Super Nintendo era. I was, uh, too into Chrono Trigger when, uh, my best friend had it. So, I never got to Final Fantasy 3. But then, the mother load in this lot for me, and this is only personal because when you, when you see this, you'll understand why... I saved this one for last, but you also won't understand because Final Fantasy III is a little more valuable. But in my opinion, this game is more valuable to me. It has more, more nostalgia, and it's just a game you can pick up at any time and play, and it's always going to be fun. And that, of course, 
is Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. And like I mentioned earlier, this is the one it has fading on the top. Eventually I might label upgrade it, but I think I will be keeping this one forever regardless because um, my friend BP really hooked me up here. This is just, this is my favorite game of all time. And this, when I first decided to start collecting, my one regret is that I somehow let this game slip out of my fingers when I was a kid. Um, so I was just, I am more than happy to finally pick this up and knock this one off the bucket list of games that I need for my Super Nintendo collection. As far as whether I'm going to collect all the games for the Super Nintendo, I'm not quite sure yet. I definitely need more space. I won't be living in this apartment uh, when I go for the Super Nintendo collection. But for now, I am very happy to finally add Super Mario RPG to my collection. Now, I do want this complete, so eventually I will be looking for the box, the insert, the manual and then on top of it I will be looking for the strategy guide I kind of want the strategy guide for this I thought it'd be really cool to relive everything without having to play this over and over and over again um, but I can also still if I really want to I can pick this up and put it in it is a very easy RPG to get sucked into and to just play for hours so my absolute favorite game of all time for those of you who didn't know or haven't watched past videos but that is it. That is the end of my very first friends and family's pickup video. Um, I will be shooting more of these. It It's really just going to stem mostly from anything I get from people who watch my videos and friends and family members who do stuff for me and decide, hey, you, you want this? I just completely belch in the middle there. Hmm. Um, yeah, so I'm just... I was just extremely happy to pick all this up. It's just, it's overwhelming. So, like, some of the things that my friends have done for me, I could not be happier. And I'm just super ecstatic to add all this stuff to my collection. And it's, I mean, I've had some of this stuff for a little while. I've just had to wait a while to be able to post this video. But just going back and thinking about it, I'm just still completely overwhelmed. I have such great friends. Again, I want to thank Nicole. I want to thank Tom and Ben, two brothers. And then, of course, I want to thank BP. Just thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot that you do support everything that I do. And everyone who's watching the videos, I'd like to also thank you for the support that you give me in doing this. I haven't even been doing this a whole year yet, but that will soon to come. And when it does... Eventually, I would like to even make some sort of a contest to just thank everyone for all the support. Um, I don't know when that's going to be. I would, wouldn't mind doing it soon, but I also, for a contest, I need to give out something that um, is more than fitting for a contest. So, we'll see, though. Maybe if I hit enough subscribers. So, again, please like this video. It really means a lot to me. Comment down below if you want to talk about any of the things I got. Um, and absolutely tell your friends, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. If you do like this video or any of the other videos I've done in the past, I also really, really would like to take comments, maybe even do like a Q&A. If I get enough people asking me questions, I would totally do something like that. Um, and as far as more of an update, I mean, while we're on the subject, while we're on all of this, um, I am currently working on just taking some time to make a Skype account because I would totally like to talk to any of you guys who want to talk to me. Um, I would totally enjoy just having conversations with everyone, um, game related or not. I mean, it that doesn't really even matter. Um, but yeah, I would just... I would like to be completely immersed in this community that I'm a part of. Um, everyone who's a part of it and I've gotten to meet have all been really nice. It just, it's it's all overwhelming. I didn't know there were so many people, nice people, in such a community that was small to begin with and is now slowly growing larger every single day. Um, and before this video becomes past 35 minutes, once again, please like my videos, comment down below if you could. Uh, check out my Facebook. I'll leave that down below as well. Um, like I said, thank you to all my friends, Nicole, Tom, Ben, and BP. 
Uh, like I said, Tom has a YouTube channel. I'll link that down below. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed, please. Like I said, check out my Facebook. Like, wow. That was the Chinese. <laughs> not the people, the food. Um, like I said, subscribe to my channel. Uh, like like my Facebook page. I do try to post some things whenever I see neat stuff. I'll post pictures or whatever just to try and keep current. I don't have a Twitter. I don't even have a smartphone right now, so it's kind of pointless for me to have a Twitter or anything like that. I was never really a fan of it anyway. Just saying. But, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and hopefully it will not be a long time before I have another one of these pickup videos. Um, but until then, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Peace out, Cub Scout.